Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what I have for you here is a math problem where you're not going to have to be 100% correct. In other words, there's going to be some leeway here. And uh, hopefully you like that because the problem is I like you to estimate the angles. So here I have a triangle. Have, we have angle A, B, and C. So take a look at this. Just kind of eyeball this and see how good you are at estimating angles. So come up with an angle for uh, or angle measure in degrees for angle A, B, and C, and put those into the comment section. I'm going to show you mine here in a second. Again, this is not a perfectly scientific uh, way of approaching this. We're not going to get a protractor out and measure this, but you do need to be very good at estimating and having kind of reasonable um, uh, guesses or estimates in mathematics, okay? Not only in geometry, but other things as well. So let's kind of have fun with this. So no pressure, just give me some good estimations and see how, uh, you know, well you think you can estimate angles. Now there is another important part of this when you give me these three angles. I'll talk about that in a second. But again, put your answers into the comment section. I'm gonna show you mine uh, estimates in a second, and then we'll talk about some strategies you can use to estimate angles. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at my answers. Again, yours can vary, but your answer should be somewhat uh, kind of close to, uh, to my estimates, right? So here we have uh, this angle, angle A, this angle, angle B, and this angle, angle C. So A, B, and C. So let me uh, show you my estimates for these uh, three angles. So I'm going to call uh, angle A 30 degrees, angle B 40 degrees, and angle C 110 degrees. And the one thing that I didn't uh, mention in the beginning of this video, because I wanted to give you a full opportunity to kind of mess around with this, but I hope that you are like, wait a minute, whatever estimates I come up with for each of these respective angles, the entire sum of these uh, angles has to be 180 degrees, right? Because the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. So that is another kind of key thing that I didn't want to kind of say because I wanted to give you a full opportunity to show off your geometry knowledge about triangles and estimating. But if you got pretty uh, close to this and if your angles uh, do add up to 180 degrees, let's go ahead and celebrate your success with a nice little happy face and A plus and a 100% and a few stars uh, so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you have a sharp eye for angles and angle measures. All right. Now, again, this is more like an art form, but you do need to be pretty good at this skill, right? You're like, well, I'll never need to know that. Well, yes, you do need to know um, how to kind of uh, identify angles. You know, you don't have to be perfect. I mean, there's no 100%, uh, uh, you know, your eyes are not absolute protractor, you know, type of things. We're not talking about breaking out a, uh, you know, a protractor or a sextant. You know, I don't know if you know what a sextant is, but a sextant is this little thing. I couldn't just help. It looks like this. I'm, of course, I'm drawing this little telescope deal right here. And then you swing this arc thing. You probably use, or uh, probably seen uh, movies where uh, sailors and mariners look through this thing. And what they're doing actually is looking at the stars above uh, the horizon, okay? I actually used to use this as a naval officer because I was a navigator and I'd actually be able to uh, determine the location on Earth based, uh, well, we used a sextant to measure the angles of stars that's given certain times on the horizon. That's a whole nother discussion in and of itself, but this is a precise instrument. And even in with this instrument, there were errors, okay? In a protractor, there's errors. So again, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. You didn't get my angles here, but let's go ahead and uh, talk about some basic strategies uh, to estimate uh, angles. All right. So I'm going to uh, kind of start with this. Okay. I'm going to start with a right angle. I think if you have a good, strong understanding of uh, a right angle and the angles within a right angle, you know, kind of what they look like, then this is a good kind of 
measuring stick or kind of um, a reference that you can use to eyeball angles. All right, so a right angle is like a, a square, right? So this one right here, this would be a little, uh, you know, we kind of put that little symbol in there, but this indicates 90 degrees, right? So a nice, perfect, lovely corner, like of a table or a rectangular table or square. This right here is 90 degrees. So from here to here, that's 90 degrees. So if we had, let's say a triangle and I kind of just drew it right there, you be like, well, that looks pretty close to a perfect square. So right off the bat, we should just estimate at 90 degrees. Now, another thing that uh, I'm going to suggest that you can do is when you estimate angles, don't try to get like overly specific. In other words, um, or overly precise. So this angle right here, this looks almost like totally 100% like it could be a 90 degree angle. So just call it a 90 degree angle. Don't be like, well, no, I don't think so. It looks more like an 88 degree angle. Like you don't want to do that, right? Uh, unless, you know, I would say at best, most people could maybe estimate angles like plus or minus five degrees. Now this is just a kind of a, you know, uh, non-scientific opinion, but I know for me, I probably can get uh, angles. This is going to be doing this for so long in various a uh, avenues, you know, uh, in the military and, and uh, mathematics. So, you know, when you work with angles a lot and you're drawing angles and whatnot, you get generally pretty good, but don't try to be overly precise. So that's the first thing. Okay. So you got 90 degrees. This is a 90 degree angles. So 90 degree angle. Now, if we split this angle, right? So I'm just going to kind of split it like right here and I'm just eyeballing it. So if this entire thing right here is 90 degrees, well, if I split this angle in two, well, what does that leave me? Well, this would be like a 45 degree angle. Okay. So if that's 45, this would be 45 and then of course you can kind of split this angle again right here so now you're talking like what 22.5 uh, degrees right so that would be like 22.5 so you can kind of go with a 90 and then think about well this would be like a 45 and another good way to think of a 45 is like a square right so here would be a square that's uh, a poor square let me kind of see if i can write a better square draw a better square so here is a square, all four sides are equal. Uh, the diagonal, okay, this forms this little triangle right here. This is 45, this is 45, and this is 90, all right? So to kind of use something as a reference that you know, but knowing 90 degrees and 45 degree angles is really, really good, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, another thing that I'm gonna suggest that you try to get pretty good at is identifying like 30 and 60 degree angles. All right, so we already talked about like a 45 would be like this. 30 degree angles look kind of like, obviously it's gonna be less than 45, something like this, maybe a little bit less, something like so. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this again right here. So it's important that you're able to identify 30, 60, uh, 90 degree right triangles, not only in geometry, but uh, in trigonometry as well. Okay, so this would be like 30, this would be like 60, and again, this would be like 90. Okay, so again, use that right triangle and split those things up in various ways. And the next part to estimating uh, is kind of some obvious things. So here we have a triangle. You want to identify, hey, are we dealing with acute angles, right angles, you know, or obtuse angles? So this angle here is an acute uh, angle. It's, it's certainly less than our reference a 90 degree angle, right? So it's something like, you know, uh, much, much less than even uh, 45 degrees, right? But it's acute. This is also acute. And if you look at this, to me, this is, looks to appear to be, uh, to be a little bit larger than this angle. But this angle right here is definitely an obtuse angle. Well, what does an obtuse, obtuse angle mean? Well, it means that it's larger than 90 degrees, right? So we're definitely larger than 90 degrees here. And it's not a, um, a line. A line is actually 180 degrees, right? So if we have a right angle here, that's 90. And then this would be 90, the entire thing would be 180. So this is going to be larger than 90, okay? So at this point, you just kind of want to work with round numbers and uh, start, you know, start someplace. So 
Uh, you could start in various ways. I'm, I'm going to suggest that for, for me, I'm going to start with this obtuse angle. I'm like, let me just kind of uh, come up with an angle here. So I'm looking at this angle. I'm thinking, well, this, if I had a line right here, this would be like 90. So let's uh, maybe give this maybe 10 more degrees. Let's call this 110. Okay, so 110. This right here to me appears to kind of be kind of close to a 30 degree angle. So I'll call this 30. So when I add these up, 30 and 110, I'm gonna get what, 140 degrees. So I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle, so I gotta subtract away that 140 I already have. That leaves me with 40 degrees for this angle. And looking at that angle, um, you know, I'm saying, you know, that's not too bad of an estimate for me. So uh, the numbers make sense for on the, in terms of the all three angles, you know, um, you know, coming together for this particular figure. So again, you know, I'm not saying that this is 27 degrees, this is 107 degrees. Work in increments, I would suggest, of like 5 degrees, right? So in other words, 1 to 15, 105. But even in, in terms of, uh, you know, 10s, 10, 10, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50, etc. That's not bad as well. But nevertheless, the whole idea here is this is an art form. And it's something that uh, it does come up from time to time because you're not going to always have a protractor with you. And the only way you're going to get better at this is to practice. Okay, so if you, you know, didn't do too uh, well in, uh, initially, don't beat yourself up. Again, the whole idea here is to try to give you some little tactics and strategies and just emphasize the importance of estimating okay in mathematics and uh, this kind of goes beyond even angles right you have to sometimes estimate uh, estimate uh, solutions and equations and just kind of you know reality check answers reality check information okay so don't be afraid to make an educated guess and hopefully this little video helped you out if that's the case don't forget to like and subscribe and if you need more help with geometry uh, specifically, make sure to check out my full geometry course. You're going to learn so much more. And if you're interested in trigonometry, I teach a complete trigonometry course within my pre-calculus course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.